Silas says your favorite meal is something different in each route. Oh, I see. That's why I didn't. Oh my god. Arthur Mosey, yes. Alright, there's, there's a lot of support. I can't do it right now, my throat's killing me. Hey now. Yeah. We'll just do the, the chores around town. How is coleslaw a meal? That is a very good question. I wish I could answer that. If you eat a lot of it, maybe. But it's just like a side thing, isn't it? Oh god, I gotta invite one of these three? Oh, I guess we'll invite Charlotte. Spending time with you. I don't know why, but I get excited every time you invite me over. Didn't she ask where the uh, like hidden chest was or something where I kept the money last time I invited her? Maybe I did it off stream. I can't remember. I don't remember her line being that. It's too timid for her. I smell Maybe like Lilith won't get one shot this time. Yeah, I don't think so. My Lilith in Conquest had almost max stats, but the Faceless killed her. Ooh, Faceless. So scary. Yeah, I know they just they say different things. But Leaving that was too timid for Charlotte. It's expecting something a lot worse. Um. Oh my god, Silas already? You just joined and now you want to prove yourself. Okay. What are his stats anyway? He's gonna get doubled, isn't he? Yep, it's gonna get doubled. Stupid Silas. Now we can breathe easy. At least his damage is good. Finally. Wait, where is he? Oh. Wow, he inserted himself in the middle, instead of being at the very end. What a guy. Yeah, his HP is massive. His other stats are okay, I guess. It's typical Cavalier stats. Okay, who was gonna marry Silas? It was Hinoka, right? Okay, so I can't do that yet. What was his statue? Who bets cabbages at the arena? Someone who likes coleslaw. Aha, gotcha there. I mean, even Silas said it. It's my favorite food, right?
What is coleslaw? It's... Wow, how do you explain what coleslaw is? I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a, a salad dish. Okay, maybe you should just Google it. I just, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's a very American dish, as far as I know. So maybe that's why you're not familiar with it. It's not gross, it's pretty good. But I guess to each their own. Oh right, class change. I'll do that before we end. Hoshido Noble, ha 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 ha, yeah right. Well, eventually we're gonna be Hoshida Noble. But we're gonna be f Nor for now for Draconic Hex. Because that skill is OP. I need to do. I don't know if I'm going to use her. So I'm planning to use Hinoka as a spear fighter, as well as Shiro as a spear fighter, of course. If I ever get him. So there's already two really good ones. I might even change Takumi into a spear fighter, or or a Basara for Rent Heaven. That's it. That's all I need from Anu. Just need that one skill. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Nothing else to do. Silas is close. Make him a great knight first, and then I'll switch him to Paladin after. Alright, we did a lot of chapters today. Some pretty long ones. Damn, it's a lot of supports to do. Oh cool, we're almost there. Halfway there. Phew, what an exhausting day, and I still have, haven't had dinner yet. I wonder if there's anything in the kitchen I can take back to my room. Is there someone in here? Ah! Help! Someone! It's a demon! Oh, Lord Corrin. Huh? Oh, it's only you. Phew. I must admit, it's a little creepy to see you in a dark room with only a single candle. Sorry. Oh, bro, is everything okay? You were staring off into the woods for a moment. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm not convinced. Your attention was wandering last time, too. Is something bothering you? Nothing that Lord Corrin should concern himself with. Don't worry about that. You should keep your troubles you shouldn't keep your troubles bottled up inside, but don't mind listening at least. Alright, since you insist. It's not a problem so much as a bad memory. When I was a kid, my parents ran a clothing shop in our village. We were out trading in Nor when bandits attacked and killed them both. I hid in the wagon, and fortunately the bandits didn't notice me. I never knew. It all happened on a moonless night, just like this one. I can't help but remember that when the sky gets black. Which explains why your face was so stormy. And scary. I'm sorry, Obero. Here I am, notionally, notionally? Notionally a Norian, uh, asking you to open up to me. It was insensitive. Not at all. You have nothing to feel guilty for, Lord Warren. It's the bandits who are to blame. They're, they're fiends in human shape. Obro. Oh, um, sorry. I got kind of carried away there, I guess. I'll, uh, show myself out. That poor girl. That's a pretty boring convo. Uh, yes! Saizo, Mizura, I don't trust you. 
Arg, how could I be so careless? Someone got a hit in on my foot, and now I can hardly move. Wow, your foot. Better than other body parts, I guess. Are you okay, Saizo? Oh no, your foot. You shouldn't have come to my aid like that. Besides, I thought you didn't trust me. Why did you risk your life to protect me? Regardless of how I feel, keeping you safe is my responsibility. That's all there is to it. In any case, we're wasting time. Go now. Hurry and return to safety. No, I can't. I won't leave you here. I think we're safe for the moment. Our enemies have retreated, thanks to you. So please, let me tend to your injury. This is no shallow scrape, my lady. To save would put you in danger, so leave. Now. Just as I thought. The cut runs deep. You're losing a lot of blood. And if you can't move with... Uh, and if you can't move it without pain, you might have a broken bone. I'm gonna have to bandage this up before it gets any worse. Gah. You, you must be in so much pain. If only I had some bandages. Here. This will have to suffice. What are you doing, woman? Why are you tearing your clothes apart? You need first aid, but I don't have access to bandages. I'm using this for now. Wow. That's actually pretty intense. Lady, why would you do such a thing after what I told you? Huh? That scar? Where did you... Oh, that? I apologize if it makes you uncomfortable. I usually keep it hidden. <laughs> she... It's like she did it on purpose. Oh god. No, it is I who should apologize. I didn't mean to stare, it's just... That scar looks very painful. Will you sit quietly while I tell you a story? That might help distract you from the pain. I got this awful star scar during my time in Noor. Sadly, it was no accident. What do you mean? Did someone actually do that to you? There was there were some noble children who were older than I. They cornered me and... They thought it was funny, teasing the outcast, but it went too far. Anyway, that's how I got the scar. A token of my broken past. After what they did, do you hold a grudge against them, and against Noor? I'm not quite sure myself. It's complicated, but I'd be lying if I said all is forgiven. Though really, I think the world as a whole needs to change. Not just one part of it. I see. Okay, all done. This should hold until we can get you back to camp. Can you stand? Yes, kind of. Here, hold on to my shoulders. I know you don't like me, but please accept my help so we can get you to safety. Come on then, let's head back to where everyone else is before they get worried. Saizo fell in love with Hinoka after sending letters back and forth. This is like way above that. Like seriously way above that. So it's inevitable. They will fall in love very soon. Or at least Saizo will. Wow, this field has enough crops to feed our army for a month. I wonder who's been tending to it. Hmm, is that Mozu heading this way? Shoo, get out of there. I'm sorry, did you just shoot me? Sure, surely I did, but it's too late. You trampled all over my sprouts. Huh, you mean these spindly little things? Yep, those spindly little things you're stepping on are as good as dead. Poor dears, they never stood a chance. Not with you trampling all over them. Mozu, I'm really sorry. Maybe you should put up a sign. You still don't have time to... You still have time to plant more, don't you? Ha, huh, you mean after I finish all my other chores? I'm glad you think it's so easy. Well, let me help you. It's at least partly my fault. It's kind of you to offer, my lord, but I've had enough of your help for one day. The truth is, you royal folk make lousy farmers. Excuse me? Now it's on. I'll farm circles around you, Mozu. Just watch. Oh dear. This isn't gonna end, gonna end, uh, gonna go well, is it? What a terrible conversation. The beginning was funny, and it just ended terribly. Hello, Mozu. Hey there, you're Arthur, yeah? Correct. I am Arthur of Nor, seeker of justice and helper of the helpless. By the way, what brings you out here? I often train in this field, and I rarely ever see anyone out here. Well, I'm from a small village, and farming's kind of in my blood. I had a little spare time, so I thought I'd come here and check the soil after Takumi ruined it. If the soil's no good, the produce won't be, be any good either. Ah, I see. 
A noble cause indeed. You ever done any farming before, Arthur? I can't say that I have, though I did once save an elderly farmer from drowning. Ha, huh, is that right? Good one, fella. Being a soldier is nice, but there's nothing like a well-plowed field at sunrise. People are... What are you... What kind of face are you making? What the hell? Arthur. People are just big animals, you know? So being near the soil is soothing. Uh, stuff you grow always tastes better than the stuff you buy, too. It's a great life. Huh? I think I'm starting to understand what you see in it. Yeah? That's great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta work hard to get this soil up to snuff after talking you ruined it. You gotta read between the lines. That's what she's implying. Rinka, I have more sp more sweets today. Would you like some? Kaze, I thought I made it clear last time that I didn't want any more sweets. Ah, I believe you are confused. <laughs> oh my god, these two. It was the mouse with the grumbly tummy, a gr grumbly stomach, that didn't want any more sweets. You little... <laughs> Rinka, I know you love sweets, and I imagine you avoid them because you think it'll make you look soft. But trust me, no one will think less of you if you indulge yourself now and then. Yeah, because you can't really go any lower. You're like the bottom of the bottom. Will you be quiet? My diet is none of your business. You're absolutely correct. However, I would be a bad friend indeed were I not concerned with your happiness. I don't think it's good to deprive yourself like this just to hide your sweet tooth. I'm not hiding it, it's just not something everyone needs to know about. So then you won't mind if I share it with the others? Don't you dare. Why do you even care so much about what I eat anyway? I don't. I care that you seem to be concerned with keeping up false appearances. Now, will you please accept this candy? It's your favorite. Haven't I made myself clear? I don't want any more sweets. Well, yes, but I already know about your sugary little secret, right? So it's okay. You can eat these without worrying about it. I'm not a damn child. You don't have to feed me. If I want sweets, I'll get some myself. You misunderstand. There are too many for me to eat. I'm asking you for help. Hmm, fine. And I guess, well, thanks for your concern. Think nothing of it. This was kind of like the uh, Sakura and Hayato conversation. Because Hayato didn't want people to know that he liked childish stuff. So Sakura was like, oh, you can help me. Wait, was, was that, wait, was that Hayato or was that someone else? That was Hayato, right? I think it was. Back in Birthright. It's been a while. Effie, let's go for a walk. Munch, munch. Effie, are you eating again? I'm sorry, I can't help it. I just never feel full. It's because you, got, it's because you train too much. You've got to take it easy sometimes. But I can't get stronger if I don't train. I wouldn't worry about that. I think you're plenty strong already. One mustn't neglect one's responsibilities, Lady Elise. I need to be strong enough to protect you from anything. Aw, oh, that's sweet. But I still think you might be overdoing it. Besides, doesn't eating all that food make it harder for you to move in an emergency? Oh yes. In fact, I'm having trouble moving right now. What? Does that mean we can't go for a walk? Now? Uh, don't worry. You can just roll me on my side instead. Sigh, no, it's okay. We'll walk together some other day. Elise is a funny character. I mean, Effie is a funny character. I guess Elise is too. Alright, so the supports are done with. Let's get to the mission. I think we're at the Rainbow Sage.